one had said that uh, since uh, GMOs are so widespread in the marketplace today that it would be too expensive to remove them from the from the from the food products. Um, but th this is the the same old. Uh, same old argument from the companies that are producing the GMOs. Um, they're making lots of money producing these things, and uh, it's uh, it's at the expense of the health of the animals <coughs> they treat and the people who use their products. Um, the the Pixis Genomics uh, in Canada is receiving twenty million twenty seven million dollars from the Canadian government to do research on GMOs, and um, it's just an example of how much money they're making on these. Um, in the book called Seeds of Destruction by uh, William Engdahl, um, he got a report of a farmer named Gottfried Glockner in Germany who found evidence that planting genetically engineered corn in 1997 had been responsible for killing his cattle. Uh, the genetically engineered corn had been engineered to produce a toxin which they claimed was uh, deadly to the to damaging insects, not to cows. Um, also, uh, in uh, there is a study done um, where GM, the genetically modified soy, was fed to rats and over half the rats born to the mothers who ate the GM soy were dead within three weeks, uh, as opposed to a 9% mortality rate without for the mothers, for the rats from mothers who didn't, who ate regular soy, not the genetically modified soy. Um, also, she said that uh, gene genetically modifying crops was uh, natural, not chemical. Um, this is true, that but uh, it's not exactly natural because these um, product, these uh, combination of genes wouldn't naturally occur because the two different species can't interbreed. Um, also, they're not exactly good at um, creating these new net, the, these new genetically modified products. Um, This one quote I have says, uh, genetically engineering is generally a hit and miss affair. The genes may be inserted wrong or multiple copies may be scattered throughout the plant's genome. Uh, they may be inserted inside other genes, destroying their activity or massively increasing it. Uh, a plant's genetic makeup may become unstable and rogue toxins may be produced or existing ones amplified. Such problems may only arise hundreds of generations later. So. Uh, they, they may be doing it wrong and causing all these viruses to be spread throughout the, the crops that are being planted, and but they won't know it until these genetically modified crops, crops reproduce often enough. Um, Uh, also, when inserted into another organism as part of a genetic construct, the promoter, uh, the promoter is, I should have gotten that first. Um, the promoter is a uh, the gene from the from a I guess the donor organism that changes the genetically mo modified uh, organism, and it the promoter may also change the gene expression patterns of the recipient chromosomes. So it it'll change the other things that are involved in the genetic code of the uh, recipient organism.